Well, what's up guys, Eric here with MajorLeagueTrading.com coming at you with another free nightly video here. And we did almost exactly what we were talking about yesterday, uh, getting that gap down here in towards the 43.9250 level. Um, unfortunately, this ended up just getting front run by a little bit here. So uh, five ticks on the regular trading hours session and then two ticks in the uh, pre-market session there in order to get down to you know those 43.9250s, which we'll talk about this a little bit more here in just a second because you know when you look at this um you know a pretty decent move today so far you know about a 30 point pop from lows right uh you look at the nasdaq and it's like okay we got a really decent pop here you know total range on the day 255 points for the nasdaq um and it ended up opening just a little bit under that 995 dot quarter level we were looking for but this is essentially the game plan that we've had for the whole week was a pullback. Maybe we try and bottom Wednesday, Thursday, and then we can kind of rally from there towards the rest of the week. Now, the thing that throws a little bit of a wrench into the plan here, um, and I actually ended up taking a trade in the Russell today, um, but this is now under 1872.20. And it actually took out the green bar from yesterday. Russell had a little bit more strength yesterday than the other indices. So the daily put in a green bar. But now today we actually took that out and, and fairly weak here. Um, so I ended up taking a, not a normal trade for me. And I even typed it in the chat. It's, it's kind of a, uh, you know, a degen play. Um, but right down here around 1858, 1859, uh, I ended up stepping into the long side on the Russell here. Um, and took some of that off right up here into right just shy of 1872s. And I said, hey, this is close enough. Again, not my normal trade, uh, but a pretty decent, you know, 12 point move or so out of the Russell from those, you know, from those lows. Um, and my thinking was that, OK, Nasdaq super strong, s and is holding up fairly well. You know, hey, maybe we can get the Russell to kind of come back and, you know, play ball with us and, you know, pop over these morning highs and, and actually make the move. Um, but at the same time, I was also cautious because it's like, hey, s and P's didn't trade our level. And now we've got a little bit more, you know, kind of confliction going in here. So what I think is most likely going to be the case here, I do think Russell tries to pull down a little bit more. Um, and what that ultimately does, you know, you can see we're getting a, you know, a little bit of a pullback here. Um, I ultimately think that ends up, you know, giving us a pullback here kind of towards this 15120 area for the NASDAQ. I think that's going to be a pretty important area. Um, but I do think that there is still a possibility and it would make the most sense that we actually do come down and tag this level of 43.9250s, right? Now, if for some reason we're able to get up through uh, 27 quarters, which we almost tagged in the after hours here, and we get through that, we get confirmations, we really start to flip the trend, then it's like, okay, 43.9250s, we'll just have to tag it next time we come down to this area. Um, but at the moment, I would still really like to see that level get tested. Today was also one of those days where uh, we had a really nice looking chart um, and a really nice mover here out of Amazon. Um, and we recognized this one super early here on the day, just six minutes into the day. Uh, so Amazon over 126.51, I like. And here's that 126.51 level, 129.95 being that target just above. Um, and you can see we just went, you know, as soon as we broke through 126.51s, we went straight up into that level. Um, so really nice, you know, a $3.50 move. And I was stalking and stalking this right here. Um, and I wanted a little bit more pullback. I didn't think one red bar on a two minute chart, you know, kind of, you know, 10, 15 minutes into the day was going to be enough there. I wanted to see us kind of pull back, test the level 126.51s, um, and then rip to the upside. Uh, and we just could not do it. So unfortunately, we missed out on, on this trade right here. Uh, but it was, in my opinion, the best looking thing that I saw on the board for today. Now, there are a couple other strong names that we can look to, uh, to watch for tomorrow. And number one here is going to be Meta. So Meta I've been waiting for this 284.84 level basically all week. Um, and we've come up and we've gotten close a couple times here, right, over the past few days. On you know, Here's Tuesday. We came up, got fairly close. Wednesday, we open. We try and get a little rally going. Falls apart. 
kind of comes back. Today, rallies early, right up in the 10 o'clock or so, pulls back, holds opening print, um, and then now finally getting up through 284, 84s here. So this one is going to be a top watch going into tomorrow for more potential long opportunity out of here. Uh, but again, the biggest thing right now, and I'll stress it again, is the confliction in which I have between the overall indices here, more specifically the Russell compared to what everything else is doing. And if we look at the Dow, it really didn't move quite as much as the rest of you know, the S&Ps or the NASDAQ today. It was a little bit stronger than the Russell, closed with a small green bar, just slightly over opening print. Um, but I think this is going to be that bigger piece that we have to let settle out in terms of the overall markets first. Um, and I really think that's going to come down to, hey, can we actually trade 43.92.50s first and then see where we go from there? So a couple words of advice going into tomorrow. It will be Friday. This has been a short week. I do think it's been a little bit more of a tricky week. Uh, definitely a really, really small number of trades for me. A lot of good names that I thought had good setups and just either, you know, front ran the level, didn't hold pullbacks um, and kind of all of those things. So it, it was just a really quiet week for me overall. Um, and the thing in which I want to say to leave you guys with is, yes, it was a short week. If you have a good week going, don't ruin that on Friday. If you haven't had the greatest of weeks, maybe cut that position size back a little bit tomorrow, given these few things here. Um, and look to enjoy that weekend, rest, relax, unwind, and come back and recharge for next week. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys in tonight's free video. Take care, hope it helps, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.